Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis of the M60. The M60 is a pistol constructed out of steel and has a hard chrome finish. The weapon was made by Mizrael Armory and is equipped with an integral KFA2 Smart Link optic. It is also recoil operated and magazine fed that utilizes 12.7 by 40 mm rounds. The M60 features the aforementioned KFA2 Smart Link optic that is set to a 2 times magnification. This serrated button here is actually the slide release. Really cool detail Bungie decided to add in their sci-fi pistol, even though it's a video game pistol. However, one thing I noticed that's missing is the mag release button, which I don't see anywhere. So I'm going to assume Bungie forgot about it or just said fuck it. Moving on to the recognizable brown rubber-like grip, along with the handguard and trigger. And lastly, the extended magazine, which you can see there's a small separation on the grip. That's because despite this gun's size, your pinky will still stick out outside of the handguard. And you'll see that when reloading the gun. Moving on to in-game stats, the M60 holds 12 rounds in the mag, plus 120 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was around 230 rounds per minute. The reload speed I got was around 2.06 seconds. Now even though there's a different animation where you actually pull down the slide on an empty mag, uh, despite that extra animation, the timing is still around 2.06 seconds. The max effective range of this pistol is around 45 meters. And the max effective range when using the KFA-2 is 90 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes 2 shots to break shields and 3 shots to health for a 5 shot kill. Now I know visually the 3rd shot actually breaks the shields, but technically that 3rd shot is already doing partial damage towards health. Half of the damage is, is going towards the shields, and the other half of the damage is going towards health. So technically the 3rd shot has bleed through. And your shields are pretty much broken at 2 shots. Or 2 shots to break shields, and 1 shot to the head for a 3 shot kill. Body shot TTK I got was around 1.06 seconds. Headshot TTK I got was around 0.2 seconds. Now I'm not sure how confident I am in getting this uh, number because from other readings that I've that I've seen is around 0.6 to 0.75 seconds. Now, at least I'll tell you how I did it. So like basically I just looked through my editing software and counted every frame at 30 frames per second to be specific because, well, Halo CE originally runs at 30 frames per second, despite this footage being on MCC. So I'd like to think that I'm accurate, but this, uh, at the same time, I also understand that the MCC version of Halo CE is not 100% accurate. So I'm curious if maybe the pistol is firing too fast than it should, or is it firing maybe too slow than it should? But I'll, I'll leave that up. Like if you're if you're a really like hardcore CE enthusiast that knows like you know that know your stuff, uh, please let me know in the comments.
stunning run. And that's pretty much it on the CE pistol. Uh, overall, I wouldn't change anything about it, as this is, seems to be like a, you know, like a very delicate, you know, weapon, and it's a very important weapon for the entire game. The gun may have bloom and obviously has a projectile velocity, but honestly, just a pro tip: just never hold down the trigger, as you just saw throughout the accuracy test. It has bloom, but it is controllable. Like I said, just don't never hold down the trigger. I don't know if the original Xbox, if holding down the trigger uh, on this pistol has any, like, use, but at least as of MCC, just don't do it. Your accuracy goes out the window when going full auto. And again, there is a slim chance that some of the stats that I may have recorded, mainly the rate of fire, possibly, uh, you know, like I said, the pistol might be firing either maybe a little too fast or a little too slow than it should. So if you're a hardcore CE fan and you know how exactly the pistol is supposed to perform, uh, please let us know in the comments. That'd be really helpful. All right, that's pretty much all I got to say. So if you liked the video, please leave a like, uh, share this video around, uh, subscribe for more, as I do plan on doing these more often. And also, this is kind of a sequel to a little series I already did on Halo Reach's weapons. So if you want to watch those, uh, I'll just I'll leave the playlist at the end screen. All right, until next time, peace.